Well, hello, champions. How you doing? Um, I'm just having a little look about our little uh, conservatory here. I've had a bit of a clean round. Uh, it's a bit dirty on all the windowsills and stuff. Um, end up with a little... Well, we've had a little bit of green fly. So um, I thought I'd have a little bit of a clean round. And um, got my brother coming up and his wife, uh, Auntie Helen, and the kids coming up as well. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd better have a clean round and see what the crack was. But I thought I might as well show you what we got going on because I gave away quite a few plants. And to be honest, I haven't really got many other than what's in the conservatory. So um, we've got one here, which somebody grew for me, uh, monkey butt. That's lovely. Um, that was from Wicked Chili uh, down in uh, Gloucestershire, I think they are. Lee is. Uh, anyway, thank you, Lee. Awesome. Um, nothing on it yet, but we'll see. Uh, and then we've got the delicious ahi limon, which is my favourite. Well, one of my favourites. These are what's all over our branding. Yeah, so you can see them there. Um, obviously, they're just starting to ripen. We've been picking all season, but I've just wanted to leave some of these. So, uh, the cousins. So, Albie's cousins. Come to photo bomb. Yeah, come photo bomb. Hello, sir. How are you doing? You can look at his mum. Everyone. Hold on a minute. Let me get this side and see if I can see. Hello. Hello, How are you doing? Yeah, hello, <laughs> champions out there. Okay, right, okay, well, back on with the video. Back to my ugly mug, sorry. Um, and then we've got some uh, delicious, well, I'm not sure what these are because I have got them down as yellow, yellow marugas, and I think they are. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think. I think they are uh, yellow marugas, um, and they taste like it, and they feel like it, so happy days. Uh, and then we've got some, we've got Burmese Naga, which I've already had uh, a few off of. So you can see these here. Mm. Oh well, I'll just have to uh, wait for that. You can see that changing, actually. It's dark here, it's light here. Um, so that's that's uh, just going through its maturation. Maturation? Yeah, I suppose it is maturation. Uh, that's just uh, maturing, essentially. So when that's all dark green and all got a sheen on it, that'll be nice and mature. Uh, and then obviously as it changes color, um, it will change flavor and become nice and uh, a lot uh, a lot more fruity instead of sort of like that green twang that you get from uh, unripe chilies. Um, yeah, then this one, well, I've actually got this as Katie Habanero. Um, now, I have had some herbs off of this, uh, but there are, well, I've had one crop, essentially, and all the rest of the flowers have fallen off because I haven't had time to go around pitching them all. Um, I know a lot. Of, some people say, that's a load of rubbish, you don't have to pinch them. No, you don't have to pinch them, and then you'll end up with a load of flowers on the floor. Um, so, which is what happened. So the first time around, when the seasons first started, uh, and the flowers first started coming, I was pinching all the flowers, making sure the pollen, they were all poll pollinated, blah, 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 blah. Uh, got loads and loads of pods, uh, frozen them, so I'm gonna be putting them into Howler at some point uh, in the future, because I still make Howler. I uh, still do the limited edition products and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, so um, what happened then, obviously Albie was born and uh, pretty much done nothing because I hadn't had any sleep <laughs> for, <laughs> for six weeks. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to uh, what I think is Big Mama Mustard. Now, the reason I think they're Big Mama Mustards is because they look like deers. Now, I think, Mr. Scoville, Johnny, you'll be able to help me out with this, I'm sure of it, and so will so many others. Um, this is the only one that I've got. It's the only plant that I've got. It's got plenty of pods on it, don't get me wrong. It's got plenty of pods on. I don't know if you can see all those. Uh, but yeah, it's got plenty of pods on. But yeah, um, I've only ever eaten one, and uh, it was delicious. Absolutely delicious. Super, super hot, uh, but delicious, and... Um, yeah, I haven't eaten one of these yet, but none of them are ripe. So I think I've just got to wait another, I don't know, probably a month, I would imagine. What are we in now? September. Yeah, probably another month or so. Anyway, I'll crack on with some more chilies. Uh, so we've got some, uh, oh, this one's ready to pick, I would say. Mm, I don't know, actually. Um, so yeah, we've got plenty of, um, I don't know what these are either. Ahi, ashi, they're an ahi. They're Peruvian, um, originated. Um, they are a bacatum, but I don't know. Maybe you can tell me what these bad boys are. 
uh, let me know in the comments below. Because uh, obviously I had a load of seeds. Um, and also I got given some pods by Steve Dixon. Thank you very much, Steve, uh, from Hot Pods. Uh, so I kept a couple of the seeds, but I never wrote down what they were. So uh, I just grew a couple of plants from some seeds from Steve just to see if I could grow them again. Uh, they were some of the first ones that I ever grew. Um, actually, these fantasy, okay, fantasy. So I've got a few on here as well. We've been picking these. I've got about two kilos over this plant so far this year. Uh, they're in a bag in the freezer waiting to, I'm going to do a special sauce at the end of the year. Maybe lean into next year. No, but I'll probably be the end of the year. Uh, then we've got um, one which uh, is called Armageddon. And uh, if you've ever had one of these before, you'll know why they're called Armageddon. Now I got given, well not given, but I got asked to use these uh, chilies by a company last year. Uh, used them, really good. And uh, yeah, quality, really good. Um, I like the flavour, I like the heat. Um, I don't go in for eating pods on videos because, I don't know. I don't really, I don't know. I don't really ever feel like the need, the need, the need that I need to prove myself, I suppose. Um, but anyway, there we go. Uh, if you want to see me in a pod, I'll eat a pod. I don't mind, just ask. Um, so yeah, um, I've got some loads of flowers on this plant. Now I don't know what this is. I really don't know what this is. It doesn't, it, I mean, it says it's an Aki fantasy, but looking at the fantasies over there, the same one. Um, so this is what these look like. If anybody can tell me what they look like. There's a few on there. There's lots of flowers. So at some point today I shall go round and, oh, well, here's some that are starting to ripen, tiny little ones. I always pick the little ones off first. It <laughs> looks like a little tooth, doesn't it? <laughs> Um, yeah, pick the right, small ones off first, and then you'll get you'll get more. Um, oh, poor little Albie's crying. I'll have to speed up this video. Uh, and then the last one we've got in here is the chocolate Naga Viper again um, from Steve Dixon, uh, Hot Pods uh, Chili Products. Um, so yeah, this is what they look like. This is why they're called chocolate Naga Viper because uh, they start off at this colour, but then they end up this lovely colour. Nice red, um, and they do change. I mean, I really like them when they are the, the chocolate color. I really like them when they're brown. I chop them into my curries and all sorts of stuff. Um, they've got a nice green, uh, fresh flavor. Um, that's, yeah, I like, I really like it. I really like it. And I'm, I'm one of my favorite uh, chilies. I do really like Nagas. Um, but yeah, one of my favorite uh, things to do is chop fresh, I love fresh chili in, 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 in curries. You can't beat it. You can't, like curry powder, yeah, it gives you heat, but it, there's not really any flavor there for me anyway. Um, anyway, listen, then we've got, come on to the outside, we've got uh, ahi charapiti. Um, now I had some, a little like this last year, uh, which were called carioca. These are, they were from Brazil. Uh, these aren't from Brazil. Mm. They're lovely. Oh, nice. Look at that. Little burst of like citrus, lovely little bit of heat in there. Little bit of heat, yeah, nice. Um, and we got these little bad boys. These are lovely. Bird's eye. Bird's eye because they, in the shape of a bird's eye. Like a, you know, like the um, Egyptian kind of bird's eye. Uh, sort of fat at one end, thin at the other. Again, little pods of lusciousness. Um, and got habanero, uh, habanero, jalapenos. So I like leaving them until they're ripe, to be perfectly honest. Um, obviously they're like this, you know, green. It's what a lot of people use them as. A lot of people like that, that flavor. I like them when they're like this. I prefer them when they're like this. I have picked some at green, so I can put them in a sauce. Uh, I mean, I'm only growing this plant literally for one of my friends to make her a sauce. Uh, because she said she liked jalapenos and hadn't found a, you know, her, uh, she wanted me to make a sauce for them, so I am. Um, so yeah, then we got uh, Jigsaw. Now, Jigsaw hasn't got any on it. I ain't really been out here doing anything, to be perfectly honest, it's gold cold. Uh, and I probably should take this inside, give it a fighting chance, because it's getting colder at night. 
Uh, but obviously we've got we've got uh, sweet peppers. This one I started off from seed this year, and that's got three on it. Probably going to get more. Uh, this one is ricotto. So ricotto. Uh, so these seeds were given to me also. Um, uh, yeah, have a look at that. It's starting to turn red. Ricotto, about 200,000 on the scale, heat scale, roughly, I reckon. I can't remember. I haven't looked at it for a long time. It may have changed. Now, look at this. What happens here? Hold on. Let me just cut this pepper off. Look at that. Look at that. So what happens there is, I can't remember what the creature's called, but it crawls inside. Well, it's inside. Inside. You can see where it's inside and out, where it's uh, a little hole there gets under the skin and eats all of the good stuff. All the stuff we want to be eating, really. But I mean, that is a sweet pepper anyway. Not anymore. Uh, but yeah, so that's uh, that's a goner. But yeah, so that's it, essentially. We have got tomato plants as well, but it doesn't seem to matter how much, um, how much of the old calcium fertilizer I put in. Um, well, not how much, I mean, I haven't put loads in. Still just keep on getting this. Just still keep on getting this. So essentially, I ain't using any of these um, tomatoes. They're useless. They can go out there. Uh, there, might be, uh, there might be too much calcium in. I don't know. Um, but if you know about tomatoes, because I don't, um, they should be more like chilies, but I haven't got that problem with uh, chilies, but I do have it with the tomatoes. So if you've got any knowledge, uh, let us know in the comments below. Um, and obviously, we've got our raspberries, but raspberries are, and the rhubarb, that's kind of finishing. Also, growing horseradish this year. Well, actually, I've been growing it for the last four years, so I think three years. This is our fourth year, I think. Uh, and that's what that is. What's of it? Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, well, I just wanted to say hello, really. I ain't said hello for ages. Um, and uh, yeah, I uh, hope to see you on Sunday at um, Sedgefield Farmer's Market from half eight-ish, half eight, nine, uh, probably set up nine-ish roughly, uh, till about 12, 12.30. Uh, I'm usually packed away by then, everybody. So yeah, uh, come on down and just remember to keep on chimping. All right, I'll see you soon. Um, love to you all, guys. Bye-bye.